I'm writing to ask your advice on my goal for gaining muscle mass. I grew up being the big kid in everything I was involved in. I was very active, but always the largest. When I got into college, alcohol and drugs consumed my life. In 2012, I was my heaviest at 470. I lost down to 250 and quit. I had reached my goal and thought that I was done. I continued being an alcoholic and addict and regained all the weight plus 100. In July of... mm -hmm, In July of 2020, I had weight loss surgery weighing in at 570. I was in a 9XL shirt and 62 in the waist for pants. Fast forward to today, I'm clean and sober and weighing in at 215, wearing a large shirt and 34 in the waist. It's incredible. So amazing. He says, now I'm being told I'm too skinny and I don't want to lose any more weight. I work out Monday through Friday with a great group of guys and I've been doing low weight and high reps to try and tone out the muscle and get cut. Now I want to gain muscle mass and fill out some of the loose skin in my arms, but I want to do it the right way. I'm eating mostly protein, but due to the surgery I had, I can only take in so much at a time before I feel miserably full. What can I do? Thanks so much in advance, and I hope to hear from you. Yes. Um, okay, this is great. I, I, I mean, I would – listen, I, there's plenty of uh, papers on uh, – uh, I'm blanking on the words. Basically, how, how frequently you eat or – doses of protein in a given setting, right? Like I think there's only a number of uh, grams of protein that your body can absorb as protein at once. And and this changes a bit from individual to individual, but like a hundred grams of protein in a sitting, I don't, I've not heard of anybody who can, who can just put all of that towards repairing muscles. So the fact that you can only eat these small meals is great. I would figure out how frequently you can eat them and have protein heavy meals every time and just make sure you don't skip on those meals. And if you can have stuff like whey protein or casein protein and water, those would be beneficial just so you're really getting enough protein. If you want to build muscle, you you, you really got to be in a little bit of a surplus, but I would be loath to suggest somebody who had weighed over 500 pounds overeat. Um, but I think if you're overeating mostly protein, that's probably okay. Uh, and then the thing that I would change a little bit in the gym is really looking into utilizing progressive overload and the principles of progressive overload. And so when he says high, high rep, low weight, I don't know what that means because some people think like the way I work out is, um, I I like to be able to do 12 reps of anything I'm doing. And if I can't do 12 when I'm fresh, it's probably too heavy you know, and, and 12, 10 to 12. Like if I get 10 one day and I'm like, Oh, I'm really tired. I'm not going to lower the weight. Right. But high reps to me would be like 30 reps. Um, so I don't know if he's considering 12 reps to be high reps or, or what, but I wouldn't be doing high reps. I would be doing moderate reps and I would be looking to increase the volume over time. So set a block of like six weeks, uh, and over the course of six weeks, increase the volume. It doesn't have to be all weight. Weight is one factor. Reps and sets are the other factor. And you don't want to increase it so much that you're doing like seven sets of one exercise. That's too much. That's where I'd go like, no, add, add a rep, add a little bit of weight. Um, so that over the course of six weeks, you're building the, the load that your body's taking on is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, whether that is uh, time under tension or actual weight that you're moving around. 
Uh, and you can Google this. There's going to be a ton of articles on exactly how to achieve this. And, and people have different ideas, like it should be more weight focused or it should be more um, volume focused with reps and sets. And, and I think however you do it, um, changing up your workout that in that way, it's kind of boring because you wind up doing the same shit for weeks and weeks and weeks with the only change being a little bit more, a little bit more. And you're really only going to failure. And and by failure, I just mean like your form may start to go in the last week. You're not doing failure every week because that's another thing. Like it's hard for your muscles to repair themselves larger if you're pushing them to fail in every workout, right? They're, they're maybe getting stronger, but they're not going to get bigger because you're not giving them the time to heal. Um, so that th- those are my suggestions as much protein as you possibly can eat. Um, and, and I find carbohydrates really helpful to working out. Uh, so some carbs and, um, you have to have some fat, right? We can't live without fat. And then progressive overload. That's what I would suggest. Awesome. Thank you, Christopher, for your question. And if anyone else has a question for Ethan, you can email it to us at AmericanGlutton.net. 